ESPN has been hemorrhaging viewers, millions and millions of them in recent years. The question is why? A new study suggests a sharp leftward turn by the network is a major factor in this. Deep Root Analytics looked at ESPN's viewership and found that in 2016, the network's viewership became substantially more liberal and less Republican, more Democratic, more Republican, all across the country. Apparently, conservatives lost interest in following sports if liberal politics are shoved in their face while they're doing it. Why is ESPN doing this? Jason Whitlock is a former ESPN commentator and writer. You know, co-host Speak for Yourself on Fox Sports 1, and he joins us now. Jason, thanks all for coming on. So, Thank you, Tucker. Thanks for having me. Well, you got ESPN is you know, the most powerful, the most beloved, for many years, brand in sports. People loved ESPN. Some people still do. A lot of people hate ESPN because of pushing politics. Why are they doing that? I think you've asked the right question. I think cord cutting has a lot to do with their subscriber sure. and viewership loss. But the animosity and some of the viewership loss, I do think, is a res direct result of their lurch to the left and injecting progressive victimology into the sports conversation. If you really understand sports culture and all the values taught in sports from Little League Pee Wee on, you're never a victim. There are never any excuses that are accepted. Every coach teaches every player from five years old on to 45 years old. We right. don't tolerate excuses. We don't tolerate victimology. And now so much of the conversation by the sports media, ESPN being the leader of this, is, is just filled with so-and-so's a victim. Colin Kaepernick's a victim. Everybody's a victim. It's turning traditional sports fans off. It's, I mean, it doesn't take a sports expert to predict something like that. People go to sports as a refuge from things like politics. So why would you throw it in the face of viewers? Like, what is the point of that? I think, again, so much of the media has moved left. And the, the, I've written about this and talked about this, and it, it, it applies to ESPN, but it also applies to all the media. Yeah. Silicon Valley. Facebook, Google, Twitter, Instagram is now in control of the mainstream media. Everybody's catering all of their content to Silicon Valley and San Francisco values. That's far different than the old media, which catered everything to New York, traditional liberal values. The values in San Francisco, a bit more revolutionary, a bit, a bit more progressive. Uh, than New York, than a traditional New York-based media. That is a really deep point, and I think a true one, and one that almost nobody ever says out loud. So basically, the politics of a single congressional district are defining what everybody else in the country watches on TV. It just seems like a self-defeating strategy, though. It seems like they're hurting themselves. Tucker, what, Tucker, you just think about it. When you and I grew, when you and I grew up. Everything was about making it in New York. You wanted to work for a right. New York magazine, New York television station. Now everything, the media is addicted to social media. Where is that control? Out of Silicon Valley, out of Northern California, out of San Francisco. Everybody's catering to San Francisco values. It's pervasive throughout all the media, and you can see it most acutely at ESPN. But you must have, I mean, you worked there, you're one of the most famous guys there. Did, I mean, you must still have friends there. Uh, without naming them, oh, what, do yeah, they, got... what do they think of this? Well, I, I think a lot of them are just now starting to figure out the ramifications of this. And I think there's been some complaints from some of their employees like, hey, look, we're, we're afraid to express that we have traditional sports culture, traditional values yeah. that they've, their ombudsman has written about a culture within ESPN where if you're slightly conservative or moderate, you're afraid to express an opinion inside there. It's, it's a real problem at ESPN and within all major corporations yeah. as everything has gone PC. I agree everything. With that. Everybody's I... afraid, oh my God, we, we can't upset anybody. Yeah. You're silencing people. It's a very dangerous thing. And you've taken a lot of heat for saying that. Thank you for coming on tonight, Jason. Good to see you. Thank you, Tucker.